Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations. I'm going to solve each equation, but remember to check for extraneous solutions. So, if I was given this equation, p equals the square root of 2 minus p. Well, first step is I'm going to square both sides to get rid of that radical. So, by squaring both sides here, p squared just comes down, and that equals 2 minus p on the right. Now I'm going to bring everything over to the left and set it equal to 0. So we have p squared. By adding a p, I have a plus p to this side, and I subtract 2 minus 2 equals 0. Okay? Kind of skipping some steps here, so if you need your time, you can write it all out, but I'm just subtracting 2 over and adding a p. Okay? Then from here, I need to factor. Okay? I'm factoring this. What two numbers multiply by negative 2, but add to be 1? And that is a negative 1 and a positive 2. What two numbers multiply to be negative 2, but add to be a 1. All right? Now, if you have trouble with factoring, there's other videos to help you um, help with you with factoring. But here I'm kind of jumping ahead. So if p minus 1 uh, times p plus 2 equals 0. So now that this is factored, okay, I can set each part equal to 0. So my solutions here right, are p equals a positive 1 and a negative 2. Those are my two solutions, okay? But I need to check if they are extraneous. So here's my check. I'm going to check this. So to check it, I'm going to start with the first one, say p equals 1, okay? p equals 1. I'm going to take my original equation, p equals the square root of 2 minus p, and I'm going to plug 1 in for p, for both p's, to see if it comes out to be a true statement. So 1 goes in here, 2 minus 1. Okay, 2 minus 1 is just 1, fantastic. We have square root of 1, and square root of 1 is just really 1. Great. True statement, so I know p equals 1 is a, is a um, true solution. So let's check negative 2. So if p is negative 2, does it also come out to be true? So I have p, square root of 2 minus p here. I'm going to plug negative 2 for p. So negative 2 equals 2 minus negative 2. Well, 2 minus a negative 2, minus a negative is a plus a positive. So you have negative 2 equals square root of plus a positive, right? It was 4. Square root of 4 is 2. And does negative 2 equal 2? No, it does not. Since negative 2 does not equal 2, we can say that p equals negative 2 is an extraneous solution. So my only true solution is p equals 1. So let's recap. I squared both sides and eliminated the radical, and then I brought everything over to one side. So I'm left with p squared plus p minus 2 equals 0. I then factored that. By factoring it, I know it can factor to be p minus 1 times p plus 2. Then, setting both parts equal to 0, right, solving that, p is equal to 1 and p is equal to negative 2. But I need to check both my answers. It's very important to check. So I checked the first one, p equals 1. Plugged it back into the equation, and when I simplified it, I got my left and right hand side to be true. Great, fantastic, p equals 1 is good. Let's check the other one. So we plug negative 2 back into the equation, up to both p's. By doing so, we have the square root of 4, right? So 2 minus a negative 2, square root of 4, square root of 4 is positive 2, and we have negative 2 equals positive 2. That is not a true statement. Be careful, a lot of times I'll see students just kind of erase the negative and be like, yeah, same, good to go. No. They are different numbers, so this is not, uh, that is an extraneous solution, right? That's an extraneous solution right there. And so my only real solution is P equals 